Exploring Idioms, Snowman's Day Out. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel where we make learning English fun and easy. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, Snowman's Day Out. It might sound a bit quirky at first, but by the end of this video, you'll understand not just its meaning but also how to use it in your daily conversations. So, let's get started. Snowman's Day Out is not a common or traditional idiom, but it's a playful and creative expression. To understand it, let's break it down. A snowman is a figure made of snow, often seen during winter. It represents something that is temporary and fragile, especially in warmer conditions. The phrase, day out, suggests an outing or an experience outside of the usual environment. So, combining these ideas, snowman's day out can be interpreted as an unusual, perhaps risky, adventure or situation for someone who is not accustomed to it, or for something that is out of its element. To make it clearer, let's look at some examples. 1. Imagine a teacher who is very strict and suddenly decides to go dancing. You could say, seeing Mr. Smith dance at the party was like a snowman's day out. 2. Consider a homebody who rarely travels, going on an exotic vacation. This could be described as, a snowman's day out, because it's a rare and potentially challenging experience for them. In both examples, the phrase is used to highlight the unusualness and novelty of the situation. This phrase can be used in various contexts, social situations, to describe someone doing something out of their comfort zone. Workplace, to talk about a colleague trying a task that's not their usual responsibility. Personal development, when someone tries something new to break their routine. Remember, while using this phrase, the tone is often light-hearted and playful. And there you have it, Snowman's Day Out, explained. It's a fun, imaginative way to describe someone or something venturing into an unusual, possibly challenging situation. We hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to practice using this phrase in your conversations. Until next time, keep learning and stay curious.